obviously not possible to uh, briefly uh, answer this question, which, is, uh, uh, which you can read on the screen, um, especially in detail. It is not, not, uh, not possible. And in preparing this 20-minute uh, uh, contribution, I have had to decide how to structure the really relevant issues. I would also like to point out uh, that my opinion presented here is uh, the result of three different perspectives. As a university lecturer and researcher, I have, had always been, I have always been concerned with human rights and minority rights. As a minority ombudsman, I have been closely following the development of minority rights enforcement in Hungary in the last 10 years, including the rights of children belonging to minority communities. And the third perspective is uh, I was a member of the advisory committee of the Framework Convention on National Minorities between 2016 and 2020. So I have gained some comparative um, experience with European uh, perspective as well. I have to give you a short uh, introduction about uh, uh, some important elements uh, which uh, um, are connected to the national, uh, nationality rights systems, uh, system in Hungary. And then uh, I will come back, which is a, a bit interesting that I will have to, I want to uh, give you a short overview about the recent data, census data, about the number of minorities, which is all, which is, which, which I, I'm sure that all, uh, also uh, somehow influences the, the, the community of children belonging to uh, some minorities. And of course, all the educational institutions uh, in favor of them, which uh, are maintained uh, in the Hungarian system. And uh, at, the, at the end of, of, uh, of uh, my presentation, uh, I, will, uh, I, I want to uh, shed light on some issues which are connected to the most, most vulnerable uh, children's group, which are the Roma children in Hungary nowadays. Um, the next, uh, so uh, in order to be able to uh, give you an overview of uh, the actual situation in Hungary, I will try to show you some basic information, as I have said, without going into details, of course. And I'm sure that uh, um, there will be many elements which are not new to you, uh, but in order to somehow dig in uh, in uh, the subject in this very short time, it might be useful. Um, and I have to clarify that uh, there was a, uh, a shift, uh, I mean, there was a change in terminology uh, when, we, when we do speak about uh, uh, minority communities uh, and, of course, children belonging to minority communities. Uh, when uh, we, um, originally, when uh, the system started in 1993, which means that we have uh, now 30 decades, uh, three decades uh, um, um, experience, um, then we have, um, we, um, we were speaking about national and ethnic minorities. And in 2012, uh, the terminology changed and we do speak about nationalities and um, children belonging to nationalities, uh, nationality communities in Hungary. Um, well, I'm sure that the, the f for many of you it's, it's not a new picture here and uh, I was uh, displaying this because I think it is important when we do speak about um, rights of children and the rights of minorities, and especially when we put together these two, children belonging to minorities, that uh, it is an old, old um, admonition uh, which was uh, said by Saint Stephen to his son uh, by saying that because a monolingual and single custom country is weak and fallible, uh, and uh, although uh, the admonition at that time, 1,000 years ago, was meant to welcome the newcomers in the country, it can be postponed to the actual composition of the Hungarian society. Um, so, and, well, this is the picture and this is the structure um, of uh, the uh, nationality law in Hungary. Uh, there are three pillars. Uh, it's the regulation part, uh, there it starts. Uh, based on legal, also on international legal documents, uh, you can see we have the fundamental law, the Act on the Rights of Nationalities, um, sector legislation, and a bunch of bylaws, of course. And then the implementation is a very special one in Hungary because there are uh, there is a possibility for the uh, for the uh, national nationality communities to set up local 
regional and national self-governments. Um, and uh, well, uh, in the implementation there are of course the um, usual uh, institutions, state uh, institutions and state bodies uh, as well. Um, so um, I don't want to go into the detail in this uh, part, but uh, when it comes to control, which is the third pillar uh, in order to uh, see how the uh, rights of uh, minorities and how the rights of chi children belonging to minorities together with, uh, with other relevant uh, uh, legal regula I mean regulations, uh, the control is taken over by the, uh, uh, by the Parliament's Commission, kind of a control, kind of political control, uh, um, to the went to um, lies by the Parliament's Commission of Nationalities in Hungary, and there is the um, uh, Minority Ombuds Institution, uh, which is also entitled with with control, kind of control and monitoring of uh, of the rights of minorities, and of course uh, including uh, the uh, rights of of, uh, of children belonging to national minorities. And uh, this is the list of uh, a catalogue of the rights um, for nationalities based on that whole uh, legal background which I have, uh, I have mentioned a few minutes ago. And so you will see that, especially when you go to the community rights uh, on the left side in the column, uh, then you will see that, um, and in the middle one, but you can try also start with the individual rights as well, uh, so you will see that uh, uh, all these rights are, some of them are directly connected to the rights of children and some of course indirectly, especially when it comes to, for example, the use of mother tongue, that column in the middle of, this, uh, of the slide, or uh, uh, the practice of religion in the mother tongue, preservation, cultivation and transmission of culture and traditions. Uh, and when you look at the, that part where the community rights are listed, then uh, you will see that the, that the special institution which is called uh, that special self-government, nationality self-government, has the right to set up uh, and to run schools, educational institutions, uh, which is, uh, and, and uh, in this regard, the self, uh, nationality self-governments have the rights to, uh, to uh, take somehow, uh, to be involved in the education of children belonging to national minorities, not only indirectly, but directly as well. And in order to see uh, about whom we do speak, then uh, this uh, slide shows you the, and I think that in order to understand the situation of minority groups and children belonging to minority community in Hungary, it is crucial to see the numbers of persons belonging to national minority communities. Uh, the numbers on this slide are based on the census data from 2011, the previous census. I will come back to the numbers of the last census from last year in order to be able to make some comments on the change uh, in the number of persons affiliated uh, with the different minority groups. So you will see on this slide that, uh, 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 well, we have at least eight minority communities, nationalities, uh, whose total number, I mean, the ones, the, the number of the persons who have affiliated themselves who have affiliated themselves with one or another nationality community, which does not mean that the real number is that the one which we see, which we see. and uh, the number of self-governments is important uh, uh, in this one point, again, which I was willing to raise, because these self-governments, especially, especially the, um, the, the national one, uh, has the right, and they are the ones who uh, run who are running schools, who are running at different educational uh, um, institutions, kindergartens. Um, so, um, and well, minority related data, the census from 2022, I will show you in a minute. Well, I, I, I'm always, I'm not a fan of numbers, but we cannot ignore them, especially when they do show us something. And uh, when, um, we have to somehow help to the decision maker, then we have to look at the numbers and we have to look behind the numbers 
what is the reason uh, of the change in numbers? Um, so, I do speak about this slide. So you have compared the three uh, last censuses. Um, yellow is indicating the decrease in numbers. The numbers of persons who have affiliated, who decided to uh, disclose during the census that, do we, they, that, that they do belong to one or another minority <coughs> or nationality. Uh, green indi is indicating the increase in numbers. So, of course, we do not have the time uh, to go into the details and to analyze, uh, but I have, to ha I have to say, all in all, uh, neither the free use of minority language, nor the freedom to choose one's identity, nor the possibility of maintaining one's own national minority upbringing and educational institutions, nor the international support, for example, from different international monitoring bodies, uh, have been sufficient in the present circumstances in Hungary to bring about positive trends in, uh, in, uh, in uh, the enjoyment of these minority rights, which also very much concerns and affects uh, children belonging to minorities. You will see, I will show you in a minute some, uh, some uh, data about, uh, about uh, um, uh, institutions maintained by, by, by minority uh, self-governments. Um, and I have to say that, of course, and what, what is an obligation of an ombudsperson uh, is, in an ombuds institution is to uh, uh, look based on complaints, based on complaints, uh, to look at the loopholes and the challenges and issues, which, and the, especially the structural ones, uh, and to try to give a kind of, of, uh, of um, professional answer uh, to these uh, circumstances. Um, of course, and well, in, in general, after 10 years uh, being in this position, I have to say that uh, the general psychological climate in the society, the fact that the minorities, co minority communities know, know very little about each other, which says something about our, the educational institutions, yes? Um, and the majority society even less knows about the minority communities. This does not make the situation any easier. Um, I have to say that the professional evaluation of uh, the data presented, for example here, this is only a very small part of, of the data, uh, is a task for all communities in the coming months. And I have to say that I know that uh, the, uh, the larger communities, nationality communities, have already hired experts uh, to identify and investigate the causes of this, uh, of this trend. But, of course, it depends also, um, the decrease in, number, uh, in numbers is also, we cannot ignore to show what the reality is. I mean, um, compared to what? are the numbers decreasing or increasing. For example, here, uh, unfortunately, I have it only in Hungarian, uh, this slide, but uh, based on, on uh, the, um, I don't know what the English name of, of these uh, small pictures is. Icons, yeah. So, uh, thank you so much. Uh, then, uh, thank you. Uh, then, uh, you, you can see that, well, it's, uh, we have, in, two in the last year, we had uh, about 99 uh, different educational institutions for children belonging to one or another minority uh, um, uh, educational institution. So you see kindergarten, uh, kindergarten, elementary school, secondary school, vocational secondary school, additional or supplementary minority language education, elementary art education, and the last one, college. Um, this year, the number is uh, the, the number raised 106 uh, altogether uh, educational institutions. Uh, in my knowledge, are there uh, many of them being maintained by nationality self-governments? Uh, so, uh, of course, this is the institutional framework. 
uh, in these institutions, not everything, in many cases it depends on the, on the, on the type of the school, but the instruction language is the language of the minority. Okay, um, and now time has come to narrow down a bit uh, uh, the picture. One of the most vulnerable group of children are the children belonging uh, to the Roma community. Uh, I think that is uh, nothing new for you here in the room. The complaints, uh, which uh, the typical complaints which uh, uh, have come to my office uh, in the last years uh, is you see their uh, education uh, on the top of the list. Uh, which is, of course, connected <laughs> closely to the uh, 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 possibility of students, uh, pupils, I mean, um, in uh, belonging to minorities. Um, and uh, on the left side, you will see uh, also the um, complaints which shows us that children uh, belonging to the Roma community are not are in most cases affected also by discrimination in housing, in education, in uh, different uh, parts and, and, uh, and uh, yeah, parts of the life. Um, we could say that, uh, um, well, it's a hard task, it's a hard issue uh, to tackle and to handle these situations, but I think uh, we have to uh, that, that is, that is uh, uh, in my opinion, uh, for example, our task um, at the Ombudsman's Office to uh, highlight, to, put share, to, to, to shed light on, on these uh, cases. Um, well, only some pictures. Uh, yes, well, that's the uh, European um, uh, map uh, showing uh, the intensity of the color, as you may uh, know and you may understand, is showing the uh, proportion of uh, Roma population in that certain and that's uh, different countries. Um, well, and some elatkip. I don't know how to tell that in in English. Some some pictures about the life of daily life of of uh, Roma communities and the children. Uh, and well, this second slide shows you all the authorities who are under my investigation. Um, state institu institutions such as schools, health and social care institutions, self-governments, prisons, and uh, of course also the activity of law enforcement bodies uh, is, uh, uh, may, may be monitored by, uh, by my office. The key statistical data uh, for the, from the last year uh, distributed by nationality shows that uh, all the complaints and all the issues which we handle a year are connected to the Roma population and at least half of them are somehow connected to, uh, to directly or indirectly to a situation of children belonging to the, uh, to, to the Roma community. But not only, I have to say. No? Okay, so the next one is uh, these are all the, you can of course not read from far, uh, <laughs> all the uh, uh, topics um, which, uh, we, uh, which, the, um, uh, which we have to, the topics of, of the complaints which we have to handle, uh, but you have see, you can see on the, which is which one? I mean the highest one, the biggest number of uh, complaints is concerning, is connected to education, which of course is about children. Um, time is running, yes, and uh, well, there are different um, practical challenges when it comes to the enforcement of, uh, of uh, the rights of children belonging to national minorities. Um, for example, to show you one concrete um, um, case, I mean not case, but, uh, but um, a circumstance, is that, for example, the, uh, we have 13 acknowledged uh, uh, and uh, by dif uh, specifically by law uh, protected minority communities or nationality communities in Hungary. Uh, 12 from the, of them are um, the affairs of 12 of the minorities are generally assigned to the state secretariat of the prime minister's office. 
and the Roma community's issues and affairs are entirely under the competence of the Ministry of Interior as part of the catching up strategy. Um, and when it comes to education, minority education, sector is placed under a state secretariat in the Ministry of Interior as well, and the cultural affairs are uh, placed uh, under the responsibility of uh, an, another uh, separate uh, ministry. Altogether, and I have to say, and that's, that's a, a very sad issue that, uh, and, and I tried to, uh, uh, again, I have to say, shed light on the fact that uh, in the government there should be much more uh, persons who, and much more officials who um, are in charge with uh, handling uh, the issues of minorities, irrespective of to which minority community the person or the issue itself is belonging. So I would say that they have a very hard task because they are not so much, not so many. Uh, and that, that, uh, it's, we, have, do, we do speak in reality about um, kind of one million persons in Hungary belonging to one or another minority. Uh, at least the double of the number what you, what you have seen um, uh, in the um, in the uh, in the census last census data. Okay, and now uh, what is uh, yeah um, public education of the Roma national minority in kindergartens and schools uh, may be provided exclusively. This effect in Hungarian language, but the institution shall provide the teaching of Romani or Boyash languages at the request of the child's legal representative. Uh, and as I have said, there are a lack of, of uh, state officials, but there is also a lack of teachers uh, who, uh, who, uh, uh, could, uh, who could stay at the disposal or be at the disposal of educational institutions. Uh, but I, on the other side, I have to say that Hungary, in Hungary, at, higher, um, at universities, um, the Romology study started more than 20 years ago at the Pécs University. And uh, a few years ago, in 2019, for example, in Debrecen as well. But if you look at the enrollment numbers there, uh, uh, at Pécs only seven, in Debrecen 10, uh, and the number of uh, Romology students admitted in 2023 uh, to these two institutions was only 17, which is a very low number, I would say. Um, and now some so-called general comments. I only um, show you uh, what uh, subjects we have to and we had to uh, handle, and then these are two, three minutes and nothing more. As I have said, the last slides I will skip. Um, well, for example, there was an issue, uh, many complaints came to me uh, about the um, early school leaving and about the reasons of early school leaving, which is one of the most problematic issues. Uh, well, this uh, you will see at the end of, of the slides, there will be a QR code if you want to access uh, the whole text of, uh, for example, this so-called general comment. Uh, which is a very long document uh, based on investigation, thorough, thorough investigation, detailed investigation, a detailed description um, is about how the whole, sorry, how the whole legal and institutional framework is uh, uh, to this, uh, uh, looks like in, 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 uh, in, in Hungary, to this subject. And what kind of recommendations we have, uh, we have uh, given. The other one is segregation in education. I do not have to comment too much. Uh, I think uh, this is nothing uh, new for many of you here in the, in the room. Uh, and the other one, uh, I have said that uh, there is a lack of, of, uh, of, uh, um, of uh, information between the minority groups and the majority and minority of society. And this one problem is with that, that we do not really have introduced in, uh, in, uh, in school curricula and teaching materials. Um, for example, Roma history. Um, and uh, there was, uh, in 2020, in, in June or July, uh, the Council of Europe has issued uh, um, um, a document about uh, 
uh, trying to, uh, to shed light on the, on the fact that uh, it would be very important because, well, uh, there is no uh, country in Europe which uh, does not have, uh, uh, for example, does not have a Roma, uh, different communities of Roma uh, which fall under this, this, uh, this uh, category. Um, yes, then the other one was, uh, of course, uh, the pandemic and the, um, uh, the uh, all the regulations concerning the pandemic in that uh, that uh, period of time uh, was uh, hit was hitting very much minority ch children pupils everyone families and so on but especially the ones who uh, who live in uh, in uh, in uh, in poverty uh, also not a new information but a general comment to see how it affected. Uh, uh, how it was affected by, by um, uh, um, children and families belonging to national minorities. Uh, then uh, uh, another problem is uh, the um, hate speech, uh, which uh, we, we unfortunately witness uh, in the f last years. Um, what, how can and how is hate speech regulated? Uh, what can state institutions and authorities do? What can civil society do? And uh, how to handle and what to do with uh, these new upcoming video sharing uh, platforms, uh, for example. Uh, okay. Um, hate speech and hate motivated uh, activities uh, are also um, unfortunately coming up in uh, last period. And well, uh, we speak about Holocaust, but it, we speak less about uh, the Roma Holocaust, which uh, also should be somehow uh, introduced in, uh, in, uh, in education, in the education. Uh, and now, this is the part which I will skip. Uh, and I will not speak about uh, children, pupils coming from Ukraine, because uh, of course not in that number we, has, we have heard uh, a few minutes ago, but many of them belonging to the uh, Hungarian-speaking Roma uh, communities, they came to Hungary and that their situation is also a very special one, but I do not have the time to speak about it and I am not sure that I'm the one to uh, to speak about them, but at least I can say that uh, uh, we have contributed, and myself also together with, with um, the uh, self-governments of the Ukrainians in Hungary and also with the uh, Ukrainian spokesperson and all possible stakeholders in order to, uh, uh, be, uh, in, in order to be able to set up uh, um, educational institutions also for the children. Um, because many of them being undocumented or, and, and different, uh, having different problems. Um, and now, uh, well, it's, uh, uh, this is a, it's, it's not quite child-friendly, I have to say, but the, a QR code at least is there. So uh, um, uh, everyone who wants, uh, also being a child, uh, wanting to, to, to send in a complaint or uh, inform us about whatever uh, issue is uh, in his or her life, then uh, uh, this is the way to do. In all minority languages, it is possible to do. Um, well, and uh, of course, uh, um, we try to inform, and this kind of, of newsletters all can be used also in, in uh, educational institutions, not for small children, okay, but uh, of course it is possible for, for the um, secondary school uh, um, youngsters uh, who uh, are interested in, uh, in, uh, in what is happening in their minority communities and what is, in general, uh, how uh, uh, this minority rights systems, uh, system in Hungary uh, works. So, and uh, now my time is up, I think, and uh, I have to say here, by, I, I have to stop here by saying thank you so much. Köszönöm szépen. Thank you.